Bonjour. It's Maylene. So since my video last week did pretty good, you can check that out in the description below. It's a thrift haul that I got for my Depop shop. I decided to do a try on haul for a few of the pieces that I got last week and show how that I post them on Depop and how I support my store. I also have a few more tips that I didn't talk about in my last tips about how to post on Depop. So I also put them on this one. So this summer I was doing a lot of Depop because I was a little bored and because of COVID I was staying home a lot and I had a lot of my thrifted clothes available. Within one hour, I was able to take photos, I was able to edit them, I was able to post a few items, and then I just left them there. So with that one hour of work, I was able to make over $100, and that turned into kind of semi-passive income for me. This haul can show you some of the tips that I use to grow my store. Let's do the haul. So the first one is you really want to find stuff you want to sell. You don't want to sell things that are just out of your closet from a few years ago that you don't really like anymore. So I'd recommend if you do have stuff in your closet to sell stuff that are on trend or sustainable or good quality. And if not, thrifting things that are in season, good quality, and also things that you think people want to buy. This is really good if you just do some quick research about what's trending and what's on your explore page. You can see that I just use a music stand and then I use my back camera because it has a lot better pixels and also it doesn't distort your face or outfit. Another thing about your shop when you're choosing things and also messaging people, just be yourself. I know when I've interacted with other people, it's kind of annoying when they try to be one way in their pictures and message another way. It's just a lot easier if you are just yourself. People will see that as being more genuine and they're more likely to interact with you and also keep up with your shop. post my pictures online, I also like to post a few of them on my Instagram story or my Snapchat story and I like to link my Depop. So when I first started my shop and I would post stuff, I didn't get likes on my items. So every 24 hours, I would refresh my items by copying the description, putting those photos in it, pasting that description, and then posting that whole item again and deleting the old post. So I just keep on doing this and keep on refreshing. If there's a certain item that's not really popular in your store at the moment, it may be popular in another season. So just keep on refreshing that item until you get a like, and then after that, move on to the next product. So I used to do this because I thought it was cool, but then I realized that it was a bad thing, and this was putting frames on photos. Putting frames on photos seems like a great idea, and I thought it was something super unique because nobody was doing it, but then I realized why nobody was doing it is because Depop won't put you on their explore page if you have frames on your pictures. It doesn't go with their aesthetic, it doesn't go with what they're looking for, so if you put frames on your pictures, it'll be totally disregarded by any Depop staff. really important when you're doing your description to have a great description, describe everything about this product, about the condition, fill in all the blanks that Depops gives you, and also use hashtags that are related to your product. When people are searching, the search bar also searches within the description. So it's great to have a description that is very specific to your product. And also if your product description is accurate, people are more likely to trust you, believe in your product, and revisit. If you're description is not accurate and customers are dissatisfied, they're more likely to just unfollow you and never buy from you again. Anytime I get any questions from any customers or potential customers, I always like to respond as quick as possible. This eliminates them going out and finding other people's shops or other items that are similar because usually when people are buying stuff online, it's an instant gratification. I also like to do free shipping as a promotion. Usually free shipping can get you to sell your items faster. Just make sure that you absorb that cost into your pricing.
in my descriptions. I'll tag Depop, Depop LA, Depop New York, or any official Depop shop. This can get you recognized a little bit more and also hopefully they can put you on the Explore page because once you're put on the Explore page, your item can sell pretty fast. Also, if you're pretty friendly and interact with other people, people are more likely to revisit your shop if they like your style, your personality. Your whole persona has to be there and be shown. Usually if you're more personable on something such as Depop or if you have a shop somewhere else on a smaller scale, this will give you a good reputation and will definitely get people to repeat buy. Once my customer has purchased, I like to ship within three days. It even on the top says how often you ship. So you need to stay consistent with your shipping or else that time grows longer. Usually I try to do it the next day within 24 hours, but because I have school and also work at this moment, I'm usually shipping somewhere around three days and that is on my bio. Also for when you're posting, you also want to post consistently. The more you post, the more likely you're going to be discovered by other people and the more people are going to follow you if they see you're posting consistently. And sometimes if you don't post in a while, it says seller inactive. And then the last few things is for when you're shipping the item. So when you're shipping the item, make sure that your weight is correct or else UPS or USPS are not going to ship it. They'll give you a one-time free pass and say, okay, we'll ship this item, but it's not under this weight or the correct weight that you posted. So make sure you're careful with that. And if you're never sure, make sure you're always going over that weight. And once you have shipped that item and it's being shipped and processed through the whole mail system, make sure you leave feedback at the very end. Technically Depop doesn't count your sale as complete until you leave feedback for the other person. This is also really important because if you leave feedback people will get their ratings and it'll also help their store so if you help other people it's more likely that they'll help your store get highly rated then this is just an extra thing that i like to do sometimes if i have a super good customer or a repeat customer i always like to put a personal note in it saying thank you for supporting my shop thank you for buying from me again i really appreciate it i was just a one-time buyer i always like to still put in a note saying thank you for supporting my shop or something short and sweet and i like to put their name on it as on their depop and sign it with my Depop name. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you make some money on Depop. It's something I really enjoy. I also really enjoy helping out the environment and having sustainable fashion. Sadly, as a student, I can't really do much, but this is something that I can do and it's a small step. And also it helps your wallet and it's something that is super fun if you're into fashion. Like and subscribe. Do you like my mom's seashell? I think it's pretty cool. But we live in the Midwest. It's kind of ironic. We're landlocked completely. Oh, 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 oh,